when the device is switched on for the first time, it puts on calibration, it shows a message saying you need to open your eye for three seconds, and then close your eye for three seconds, which I accomplished by covering the photodiode and transmitter. The glasses are just to the right of the device. Now, if it all works correctly, if I cover the photodiode, depending on the row it's scanning, it should be selected and then go scanning column wise. So let's try typing hello. I wait for it to get to H and then I blink. E again. Blink. The LCD just reflects every character I blink so far. If this was worn on my head, blinking would accomplish the same thing as well. I messed up there, should have been the second last row, but anyway, you get the picture. If it were on my head and I blinked, it would accomplish the exact same thing as me covering the photodiode with my hand. Also, the SW button on the first row is used to toggle the phrases and alphabets. So if I were to hit the switch button, it would stop printing alphabets and instead it would start printing phrases related to each of those alphabets. I'll be attaching an image of the phrases and each of their corresponding alphabets, but for now let's just try a random phrase. I wait for it to get to the first row. Let's try that again. And I hit switch. Now I just choose any random alphabet. I need the newspaper because that was the phrase that corresponded to the alphabet I. The last row, when the switch button is chosen, the last row corresponds to a set of relays. These relays are triggered wirelessly, so if I were to hit the switch button and if I were to choose any of the last buttons, they, a certain signal would be sent wirelessly to the third module which is the relay system and the relay system will switch on that corresponding device. I'll include the code for that as well. If I were to clear the screen, I could accomplish that as well with space, backspace, clear, all of it is mentioned in the code.